Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, we are at Midwest RV in St. Louis, Missouri. And they've given us the opportunity to come out here to the lot and go through some different trailers and show off some of the floor plans that, the, that they have here. So this isn't sponsored. They're not paying us or giving us any kind of credits or discounts. Um, they're just being nice enough to let us use their inventory to show you guys some different floor plan. And uh, let's see what we're looking at today, Katie. All right, let's go. For this episode, we are going to tour the 2020 Coachman Freedom Express 326 BHDS. And I have learned that the DS stands for double slide. Yeah, this one is a big bad mammer jammer. Um, it was very impressive <laughs> was. on the lot. It really was. Um, 11 feet high, uh -huh. 36 feet, 11 inches long. Total, yep. This thing sleeps 10. It has 50 amp service and two AC units. Yep. Um, it weighs in at 74, about 7,400 pounds dry. Uh, maxes out at 9,900 pounds. Hitch weight of 947. And it's got a 49 gallon fresh water tank, 66 gallon gray water tank, and 33 black. Yes. So this thing has two, uh, this has got the twin propane tanks on the front where the power tongue jack is. It's got all the connections. So the city water and the um, electrical connection and, and all that are all grouped in one little area in the back. The shower is back there too, and that's a little weird, but might be okay in use. I, I think it's odd that the shower is above all the connections, but that's just me. It also has a ladder, so you can get up on the roof and do what you need to do, whether it's some cleaning or installation or just some stargazing at night. The outdoor kitchen on this thing is massive. It's incredible. Um, it's got a big fridge in there. Mm -hmm. um, this is a full-size sink. Yes. Uh, and the drawer underneath is really cool. So it's kind of a U-shape with an organizer in it. Mm -hmm. uh, no space wasted there. There is a shelf above the fridge mm -hmm. and a small pantry in there too. That's pretty cool. It also has the pull-out grill that a lot of the coachmans have in their outdoor kitchens. Yes, that is true. I like that this thing has the solid steps. Yeah, the solid steps are definitely a must-have. If we don't upgrade, the, our next rig will definitely have them anyway. Um, it also has, you'll see, the awning is, it's got two awnings. Mm -hmm. One above the door and then one above the slide that comes out. So that way you're not losing any of that awning space because you have the, the slide. Right, right. That's pretty great. Mm -hmm. All right, so you walk in and the bathroom is right in front of you. Yes. This thing actually has a bath and a half. Mm -hmm. So the, the full bath is right in front. And then off to the left is the living area, the kitchen, the dining area, and the bunkhouse. Yes. It had the really nice light colors. Yeah, I like the light colors. Um, lots of windows, so natural light was coming in very well. Um, and then so you walk through and the bunkhouse has a door. So you can actually close the kids off from the rest of the world or they can close off the rest of the world from themselves. However you want to look at that. Uh, the bunkhouse was great, it had a really nice high bunk, a climbing wall, which mm -hmm. Mal was super excited about. Yes. Uh, lots of cabinet and storage space. So much storage space in there. Yep, there, the half bath is in there, in that little bunkhouse room. And then on the other side is a bunk um, up top that can flip up and a little dining area underneath. Yes, they have a little table that you could pull out and some chairs. Right, and then you could probably, there's a lot you could do with that space. Mm -hmm. um, so that's pretty great. That's where the other part of the slide comes in. Right, and it looked like those chairs were the kind that convert into like a, a small bed. Right, like a twin size. Yeah. Yep. So you got a, this whole self-contained living area for, for your kids back there. It can be not only the bedroom, but a school room too. Yes. Uh, there was a little spot um, for a TV up above um, mm -hmm. in the middle of the two bunks at the back with a um, TV outlet and an electrical plug there. Yes. The bathroom was pretty standard fare, good counter space for a half bath, um, nice skylight. I thought it was a nice touch. They have a hanging hamper in there. 
Right, that is cool. So back out in the living area, you've got a lot of great storage. Mm -hmm. um, off to the left on the wall, um, to, at the back, there's just floor to ceiling. Pantry, yeah. yeah. It's a pantry. Is that what that was? That's a pantry, yeah. Oh. There wasn't a, any pantry space in the kitchen, so I'm assuming that's what that was. Oh, good idea. On the same wall as the door to the bunkhouse is your fireplace, um, which is something really great we've talked about before. We, mm -hmm. we love that. Um, your TV, entertainment stand, um, a little bit more storage here and there. Uh, you have storage up above the couch. Yes. Which I imagine also folds out and will it, sleep one or two. It does. It's the coachman's dream bed. The dinette had drawers. Yes. That is genius. Yeah, it was pretty. It, it, I loved it. I when I <laughs> when I opened the the cabinet and, or the what I thought was going to be a cabinet space and it was really a drawer that made me super happy because we don't store things under ours because it's hard to get to. The kitchen was pretty standard. The appliances were pretty standard. Um, I mean, they're all good quality things. It's just nothing extra special. Right. Well, I liked the countertop because it didn't have texture on it. So okay. it's going to be super easy to clean. That's true. Um, oh, it did have the double stainless steel sink. Mm -hmm. So that's awesome. Yes. I like that. Um, it had a decent amount of, of storage and cabinet space. Uh, in the hallway, there's um, a little decorative door that hides the control panel. I thought that was kind of neat. But your awning control is right there underneath, so you don't have to open that door every time. Yeah, that makes it nice, I guess. Okay, so let's talk about the master bedroom. It's a good size. You have a true size queen bed in there. On either side of the bed, you've got some small closets with nightstands. Um, you also have outlets with two USB plugs, so that was super duper cool. Mm -hmm. And you've got the storage above the bed. My favorite part is that there is also a giant window in there at the head of the bed. We have one in our rig and we absolutely love it. Um, so there's also there's storage underneath the bed, mm -hmm. which is pretty standard. And then you've got the closet dresser area um, at, at the foot of the bed. Yes, at the, the foot and to the one side. Right, and it's a pretty good size. I mean, you got a lot of storage in there, and it's it's got a hamper, one of the hanging hampers mm -hmm. in there too. It does. The second AC is also there in the master bed. Yeah, we should mention the reading lights too. They're directional and there's one on both sides of the bed. Oh yeah. Okay, the main bathroom, uh, it's pretty standard fare. Uh, it's got uh, some good storage space. I like the coat hooks in there. The sliding shower door we're divided on. Um, I kind of think it's neat. It's one of the, it's thin and it wipes itself clean when you retract it. And I feel like a four-year-old could put his elbow through it pretty easily. <laughs> yeah. Um, so the weird thing is it's got access to the closet in the master bedroom. Right. You think it's cool. I think it's weird. <laughs> well, it's both. Yeah. I, I see that it could be useful and neat, and I mm -hmm. also could see how that'd be weird. You know? Right. I could see as the four-year-old gets older or you have older kids that might think it's fun to open the door and be like, hey, mom. Right, right. Now, I did love the counter space in this bathroom. There's plenty of it. Yes. And an outlet, which we don't have in our current rig. So that's No, cool. we don't, do we? We don't. So that's pretty much it for this uh, Coachman Freedom Express, the 326 BHDS. Um, it's actually, it's a pretty impressive rig and falls in line with a lot of the things that we're looking for in our future rig. Yes. So if you're going to spend a lot of time out on the road, if you've got a kid or two and, and you need some space, if you're going to do homeschooling or anything like that on the road, having that separate area for the kids is key. Um, with that though, you definitely sacrifice. You don't get the super fancy kitchen or a really super great master bedroom. Both things are fine. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're very nice. Yes. But all the attention in this rig really goes back to that bunkhouse, mm -hmm. which is a great space. Yeah, I think so too. And I'm willing to sacrifice an awesome bedroom and kitchen to be able to lock my kids away somewhere for a few <laughs> hours. Yes. I wouldn't put it quite like that, but the sentiment is there, yes. Yeah. Well, we hope you enjoyed checking out this rig with us. Um, if you wouldn't mind, subscribe, hit that little button there. 
We try to put out new videos every single week. Um, also, hit the like button. Tell us what you liked about this rig. Tell us what you don't like. We like to hear from you. Yep. Please uh, let us know, and we'll be back at you next week with something new. Until then. See you later.